Well, it's a brand new Bing USB stick, so it should be safe. Uh, oh, there we are. Um, okay, uh, uh, we as OpenStreetMap uh, Foundation, we've, uh, we have a constitution, which is the Articles of Association, that kind of thing. And we are actually, uh, since, well, we're kind of working on it, we want to make it, oh, there it is. Um, we want to kind of, kind of improve the constitution, basically the level of, um, of, of association, why do we exist, what is the purpose of our organization, and articles of association, how do we function? Uh, so how do we make a vote and that kind of thing? Um, well, the current one is a little bit old. It's 2006, so about five years old now. It is time for a uh, update, a refresh of the articles uh, and how we want to be. Uh, uh, oh, wait a this is uh, that's the one. A um, little bit about uh, plot planning, real quick. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we are a little working group, uh, just a couple of people, um, and we have a uh, legal uh, background with Francis Davy, who is a solicitor, no, a, a, a barrister uh, in uh, England. Uh, we now have basically a, an idea of what we, how we think we will see the, the organization, but we'd like to have your input. Uh, in a month from now, from that input, we'll try to draft the legal text which hopefully will get passed or uh, voted on during the, the, the AGM in Sodom in Denver. Uh, okay, so everything here is just a proposal. We're not pushing anything on you, just starting a discussion. Um, okay, main thing, we want to protect our values. We want to protect where, what we're standing for. So we're looking for entrenching uh, core values. Entrenching means that if we want to change it, Basically, everybody needs to agree to it. It's not that we have a, 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 a majority vote. No, everybody has to vote on it. So basically, everyone has a veto. So that makes it very, very difficult for organizations or otherwise to kind of take over the organization. So we try to put those strength in. The question is, what are our core values? What do we need to protect at all costs? So that, uh, but I'll, for the, so, the, so these are one of the questions we'd like to hear from, from you. I think we'll just go really quick through and then uh, 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 maybe have some ideas on it. And an asset block is probably we can, uh, uh, for instance, our database and everything, what's in it, uh, if we cease to exist, because, well, for some odd reason, uh, then the database should or could be uh, located somebody else with an organization with similar goals, be open and freely available, so we can't sell it to an organization and make it closed. That's sort of two things that we're hopefully we'll get into the constitution and say, well, these are the main kind of things. Um, do you just want to really, go, really quick on the items that we're working on? Maybe we have some ideas. Mem membership. Currently, members can only be in the individual members. With looking at other types of membership. Currently, looking at the individual, so that's the current members, uh, corporate members, and chapters. Um, identifying three kinds of members also makes it easier for, for, for us to identify the differences between the members. So we can define that individual members have different rights than corporate members, but we need to think of what that, those rights are. Uh, for, for instance, uh, we could say that uh, if we want to change everything, the individual members have always 60% of the total vote is by the individual members, and 10% of the total vote is by corporate members, something like that. Or we ground different kind of things. So we can make it, but if we identify those kind of things, we can work with them. Um, so that's sort of the three kinds of If you come up, we, don't, we totally don't want to have corporate membership kind of things in it, we're open for it. These are the ideas that we think might work for the uh, foundation. Uh, but then the most interesting question, we've seen that quite a lot during the license change. What is the position from the community at large? So the ones that are not a member of the, the, the foundation but are uh, uh, affected by changes or by votes or decisions within the foundation. Basically we said, sorry, no. Um, because it is very, very difficult, but because you need to identify or claim 
well, first, who is the community? So who, so who has rights and who has not? How are we going to impose that? How it, you, you're, you're getting into all kinds of uh, trouble. Based, and, and also asking, kind of asking, why aren't those people just becoming members? Because if they become a member, they really said, I, I propose, well, I, uh, uh, I underline the values and, and the, the, the ideas of the foundation, I want, and I want to be involved. Then you have all, all uh, the rights. So our idea is membership large, they have all kinds of ways of expressing their opinions. Members too do take care of those kind of expressions, but we don't put them in our articles as that they have special rights. If they want to, they can do it by becoming a member and that kind of thing. Again, it's not for a proposal, but if you all think uh, a, a, a community at large should have some kind of say, please say it also and to describe how you see that, because we can't. That's, okay. Um, uh, votes also very, very kind of thing. When have we made a decision? Um, again, different kind of ty types of members, uh, like individual, corporate, and uh, chapter. We can define uh, who has what type of uh, uh, vote. We have said every member, depends on what, what you are, has one vote. Um, but then, would we kind of make it make, make, make it different? Um, uh, 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 I would say yes, but I haven't figured out what the difference and that kind of thing are. Um, but it's just my idea, and we'd like to have some input from you guys how you look at those kind of uh, uh, ideas. So the voting system itself um, currently we basically have a majority vote. Um, what we said, what well, if it's about elections? Uh, we'd like to introduce the single uh, trans trans transferable vote. An SCV, it looks like some sexual disease, but uh, it, 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 it is not. Look at, uh, look at Wikipedia, it is, uh, says how, uh, how, how it is. It was a kind of same system they tried to uh, propose in Britain, but it's kind of also. It is apparently very hard to explain what it is, uh, but I think, uh, and not only me, that, that's a very good way of, a, kind of a democratic way of selecting uh, uh, officers or members of the board. Um, so if it's about people, we said it is, it should be a STV, a s single transferable vote. Um, other votes or proposals, we basically say fifth, more than 50%. Uh, there's currently a, an issue with, uh, can the chairman also vote? Uh, because if you have a tie, and the chairman has voted. Do we have anything? We basically now, now say the chairman doesn't vote, and if we have a tie, then the chairman can also vote on it and then make the decision whether it's either way around. So normally the chairman doesn't vote, but if there is a tie, then he can uh, propose, kind of say, which one it is going. So it doesn't have a casting vote, but it has a, some, another kind of way. Um, but then, more than a half, so like 50.1%, that's, that's kind of weird. So at some point, in some issues, you do want to have a two-third two -third majority. What are those issues? Uh, we need to know on what those things are. Well, apparently, if we want to change the or accept the articles of association, I would kind of think that we want to have a two-third majority and not just 50%. But that's just one, and you probably want to have more of those kinds of things. So can we distinguish the, well, interesting kind of day-to-day -day things and the important, really important stuff? And the really, really, really important stuff, that's going to be entrenched, so that basically 100% needs to vote for, to make a change. So that's a three-layer kind of thing that we're working with. Well, the board itself um, currently has set its maximum to set to seven members, we kind of think, well, that's okay, uh, unless you all think, no, it needs to be different. Um, but then who, who appoints the board? Currently, it sounds that the members can vote the board. But we also can make it, if we have different types of members, say, well, of the seven, four members are voted by individual members. You have uh, two from uh, the corporate members, and the board can select one in themselves for specific kind of knowledge to get specific knowledge within the board because they need to deal with 
all kinds of things that they really want to have uh, a kind of thing in it. That's possible. Uh, so we need to think about uh, how we're going to do it. I'm also, again, interested in how you look at those kind of, uh, the kind of thing. As, uh, board members, it's, it is now a little bit uh, unclear how long board members are staying uh, on for that position and how it's done with re-election. We now said, well, we want to say board members are uh, elected for two years and they can run for re-election. And they can run for, for re-election until they die. Uh, so that's, we, don't, we, we haven't set a limit to that. Um, because we think the community is, or the members are, good enough to actually uh, vote. The is well capable of killing them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, that wasn't what I'm implying, but well, yeah, if, 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 um, well, if we start flame wars, well, yeah, uh, you never know. Um, working groups. I, I don't think that we're going to mention working groups within the Articles of, of Association, but I have it on there to just say working groups are groups that are on the responsibility of the board. Uh, so that the board can say, well, I would like to delegate a certain task, day to day task, to working groups. Uh, so at the end, the board is responsible, uh, but they have the flexibility in uh, setting up working groups and delegating set, uh, uh, certain tasks. Uh, that's how we kind of think, but the most important thing is working groups are the responsibility of the board of the foundation. That's key in this kind of uh, discussion. Uh, then you could discuss the idea of who can be on the working groups that are only members of the foundation or also members at large, which now is also kind of, well, it is up to the board to decide, well, we only want to have members or we can also have community members outside. That would still be possible, I think. But that's also, well, I like that. Okay, um, that was a little bit about it. What we currently have the, well, there's a, well, just look at association review, uh, search on the, the wiki, there's a page with all the things that we're uh, uh, thematically uh, looking at. That's where we are. Uh, try, uh, let's have a discussion on OSMF talk, because, well, it is our, well, it is a discussion within the foundation, so we think, the major discussion should, should be done on the mainly of the foundation, so the OSMF talk. Uh, also, uh, the, the page itself has a discussion page, so you can also put something there. So these are the better. Yeah. The list is only open to uh, members. Right. Uh, the archives are public. I think they are, yeah. People who are members can, can go yeah. to the list page and actually look at the discussion. Right, yeah. So it's not that we are hiding kind of thing. It's not our idea of hiding. Like we probably also mention on the general OSM talk list that this is going on. Uh, but since it is the Articles of Association of the Foundation, the main people who can or should have a say about it are the members of the Foundation. So if you're not a member, you want to discuss this, well, I would say donate or pay 15 quid, as the British say, 15 pounds. and. Uh, You'll have a blast in uh, discussing this kind of thing. <laughs> um, okay, um, this is uh, uh, I'm, I'm basically through what I would want to say about this. The, uh, these are, I think, the major points that we're working on. There's all kinds of other kind of stuff that how do you become a member, but how do you cease to become a member? So I want to quit. How do we do that? Also, regulation for, uh, for that. But these are, I guess, the major points. If you look at this, are you becoming happy or are you coming, becoming disgusted or are you, I don't know, what's your initial feeling? Do you have strong opinions about these kind of things? Uh, can we expect flame wars? Can we expect that we all can burn in hell? Uh, can we expect, or can we just praise and that we'll be the, well, I don't know. What. So, um, it's, it's up to you. Um, anything you want to talk about? Ideas that you have? No, it's not. Okay. Simon? I just have to say that I think one of the things that you really know I need to be a whole tank thing. Sorry. I think it's one of the things that you really it's a, it's a more general strategic remark, uh, one of the things that we have become more clear about if this membership thing actually takes on whether we really want to encourage direct membership in the OSMF or whether we want to have some kind of indirect schemes via local chapters. Because that, 
250 members, it's not a problem, but if you have 25,000 members, it's a total different kettle of fish. And I think that has somewhat been skipped a bit in the discussions up to now. Just a uh, quick remark on that. Um, um, uh, we are also working on uh, the framework of local chapters. There are several open street map, whatever region you're talking about. Uh, we also work, uh, also work on that. The baseline on that is that chapters are different from the from the from the, from the foundation and that kind of thing. But you're absolutely right. We are looking at it. And uh, one of the things is if you're just Focus on your local kind of thing. You might just want to become a member of that local chapter, and not so much of a foundation. But uh, but also one of the member groups I've mentioned were the chapters. Uh, they should could have a position within this kind of thing. How we were working with that. But it's uh, it's a very good point. Absolutely, Richard, you were. I have just five short pages of notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just only five. Well, that's 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 a relief. How we can handle that in just only a year uh, instead of four. Uh, any other uh, 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 the idea of different kind of memberships, like the call. Uh, how do we feel about corporate membership? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I see a, a no. Okay. Uh, this it's about oh. oh. I, I would prefer seeing companies joining as a company rather than asking all of them. <laughs> Some companies want to show their support for the street and they spend all the money rather than getting all of their engineers to join individually and then have a huge voting blocks. Like, you know, that's not what they're trying to do, they just want to give the foundation money at the end of the current proposal. I think we're looking at the corporate companies would only have a single vote. Yes, currently, with, with that, what we're saying is so the company joins, it's still, no, even if they gave us like a million pounds, they would still just get one vote, so no more than your sort of my vote. Uh, oh, this is interesting. We actually have a discussion. <laughs> I think that, uh, um, it's, of course, it's right what Andy said, um, and this idea with uh, corporate members just having one voice is also nice, nice and easy. But um, if we really think about having board members that are sort of specially elected by the corporate, something like that, I think then this is something where I think we we'll, we might get into trouble because someone who say say there's say, there, say there's a big company like say Microsoft or something just, just to name it up and they uh, and they say oh this is a very important project and we are actually we're happy with one of our employees serving on the board and we are actually going to uh, to pay him a wage for doing nothing else but always enough board board work. That, that would mean that you would have something like a board consisting of six people who have normal daytime jobs and who just do the board work as a hobby and you would have one person who is basically a full-time paid employee of someone else and who can obviously afford to do lots more work which on one side is a good thing because we need people to do a lot of work but on the other hand that would give an undue influence to this employer via this one person who does 90% of all the work. So that's, a, that's certainly a dangerous thing that we have to look at. Right, so you're actually saying that corporate membership itself would not be a problem, but if we make that, like we, that a, the, 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 the election of board members that uh, uh, companies could have a certain seats on the board, uh, that's what you can say, well, that's a no, no. Oh, on, on, on that thing, but the corporate membership itself, Without, so if, if we try to just make it uh, similar as uh, without the, them having extra special rights. Uh, okay, got it. Uh, thank you. Is it a slightly different topic, but have you thought about having different types of board members? Um, you, you talked about leaving a, the, the possibility to leave a space for the board member to appoint specific um, people. But would it not be better to have different types of board members, i.e. voting members and non-voting members, so we could elect all the people who have the ability to vote and make a decision, but the board itself, for reasons of legal privilege or just meetings or whatever else, can incorporate other non-voting members to give their expertise? Yeah. Um, to be honest, uh, I haven't thought about it. So basically, we as a group have thought, uh, have thought about it, but it's 
I think it's a, it's a very interesting thing. So uh, I'm definitely am going to think about it. I thought that because it's, uh, yeah, absolutely. Anything else on this or how are we doing on time? We should really go. We should really go. So, okay. uh, again, well, uh, you probably see some discussion going on on OSMF uh, Fog. You probably see some mailings coming by. I really appreciate your input. Uh, thank you very much. Bye. Uh, quick, quick word about the photo. Um, they have changed plans and they're not doing the photo outside, but inside, somewhere where we have the food. I don't know exactly where, but you'll find them.